If you've always wanted to make really cute holiday treats, but you're not a baker or necessarily artistically inclined, or you just don't have the time and patience for it, then these are the holiday treats for you. You'll need some candy molds, melting chocolate, and cookie dough. These molds can usually be found in the holiday sections at stores. These are from Hobby Lobby, and I think they were two or three dollars each. Place your molds on a cookie sheet, and then go ahead and fill them with cookie dough. You don't need to fill them up all the way because they will expand when they're in the oven. I cooked them at 350 for maybe eight minutes, but I just kept checking on them. If they expand too much, then when you first take them out of the oven, you can kind of shove the cookie back into the mold. I let mine set in the freezer for a few hours and when I took them out of the mold they just popped right out. And look how well it held the shape. Taking them out of the molds was actually so fun and satisfying. Especially these little tiny pink ones. Once you've got them all out and you've washed all of your molds you can go ahead and melt your candy melts in the microwave. Then you're going to take your melted chocolate and put it into the molds and then push your corresponding cookie inside. Make sure you push until the chocolate comes up the sides a bit so you know you've got the whole bottom coated. I was worried I put too much chocolate in some of them but in the end those were the ones I liked the most. After I did the chocolate I put them back in the freezer for five minutes and then they were ready. They came out of the molds so easily and they looked beautiful. If you don't add enough chocolate to the molds, the sides will turn out looking like this cookie does, but the front will still look great. Also, popping them out with the chocolate on was even more satisfying. There is very little baking knowledge or talent involved with making these treats, and yet they turned out so nice. So easy, yet so fancy. I think if you make these for someone for the holidays, they are going to love it. And don't worry about the texture of the cookies being ruined in this whole process because they stay perfect and soft.